Have you ever wondered how secure your private messages actually are? Like can hackers, big tech, or the government read what you're sending? They quite possibly could be depending on what app you're using and what type of encryption they have baked into them. So let's talk about how encryption works and why you would even want your digital communications encrypted anyway. So what is end-to-end -end encryption? Well, it's basically technology that ensures that the only people able to see the message you're sending is you and the receiver. Nobody in between can understand what you said. And here's how it works. When you send a message... Hey, what's your address? Your phone's chat app turns it into gibberish. <laughs> and then hat are on. It then passes through servers on the way to the recipient, but remains illegible. <laughs> Eventually, it reaches the receiving person's chat app, which has the unique key to decipher the code. <laughs> and then hat are on. Hey, what's your address? Using encryption matters because we send some of our most private details through messaging apps. Family photos, phone numbers, maybe even passwords. When your messages are sealed from one end to the other, it prevents them from being seen by middlemen who might be trying to target you with personalized ads or even worse, like they could be trying to violate your privacy. So how do you know when your messages are encrypted? Let's start with apps that are often pre-installed on your phone. For iPhone users, if you use Apple's Messages app to send an iMessage and the text bubble appears blue, that's Apple's way of telling you it's secured from end to end. If you text someone and your message shows up green, it's an SMS message and there's no way to encrypt it. Mobile carriers can see SMS messages. Google Messages has a relatively new encryption option. You'll know your Android messages are encrypted if you see this lock icon. If you don't, make sure your chat features are turned on in your settings and make sure you're both using the latest version of the Messages app. Now, let's talk about some of the free apps you might have downloaded. There's an app called Signal and your personal account is tied to your phone number and your device. It's considered one of the most secure services you can use for encrypted messaging. But beware, if you forget your phone password, which may be unlikely, or you simply can't get into your phone for one reason or another, you're out of luck. Those messages are gone. Then there's WhatsApp, which is owned by Facebook parent Meta. It says it uses Signal's encryption technology to keep both itself and snoopers out of your messages. Both Signal and WhatsApp have encryption turned on by default. On the app Telegram, you have to turn on secret chats for encryption. On Instagram and Facebook Messenger, Turning on vanish mode or tapping this little lot icon before sending a message will do this. Internet privacy experts told me that if you don't have these encryption features toggled on, there's little to nothing stopping companies from using what you send to target you with personalized advertisements. Oh, and some platforms are not encrypted at all, such as DMs sent on Twitter. Twitter says it uses access to your DMs to scan for spam and abuse. It also recently settled a Federal Trade Commission lawsuit where officials alleged Twitter deceptively used users' phone numbers and email addresses for targeted ads. Well, so now you're encrypted. Well, you should know that those encrypted messages are only as secure as where you back them up. So try to make sure you're using a cloud provider that encrypts things from end to end. If not, you can back up your messages to a computer or just know that the cloud provider has the keys to decrypt those messages. Now, not everyone is in favor of end to end encryption. Some governing bodies want a way of seeing what people are sending. That way they can more closely monitor for criminal activity. After a 2015 mass shooting in San Bernardino in California, the FBI asked Apple to make software to break into the shooter's phone, but Apple refused. Any criminal investigation, a competent investigator would try and use all lawful tools to get access to that device. There's already a door on that iPhone. Essentially, we're asking Apple, take the vicious guard dog away, let us try and pick the lock. Apple says if it were to weaken encryption, it could create a bigger security issue should hackers figure out how they did it. It also said in this case that it responded to investigators' requests for information within hours. It's a complicated issue that's way bigger than any individual phone maker. If we got rid of encryption, 
banking information, emails, really anything we want to send privately over the internet could be at stake. But from a security perspective, end-to-end -end encryption is the most secure way right now to make sure that only one person is seeing what you're sending. 